term system. Like what type of climate we enjoy? We are enjoying a tropical climate. So we have a winter, we have a monsoon. That sort of system, you know, is called climatic system. But what is weather? What is weather means within winter, say. Within winter, there may be some rain spell, there may be some dry spell. Those are weather. So you do not go to the college because today's, today's weather is not good. The climate may be the entire thing, may be the winter, you know. But one day it is raining very heavily. So that raining heavily is the weather. But the entire spell you say it is the winter season. So that is the climate. You don't understand, na? So climate is a long term effect in the system. Whereas the weather is a short term system, short term effect. Whether it is every day it rains, or it is warming, or it is windy. So those are weather, it goes under weather. So like I told you, na, in the field, suppose in my time, you know, when I was a student, like, you know, when we go to field, so we stay there for one and two months for field work. That time field work was taken very rigorously. That's all because there was no lab, uh, there was not much importance to lab work. So field work was the major component in geology. So we used to stay in the field at least minimum 15 days. I, I had a guide, you know, who keeps us for months together. So within that month, though it is very winter in the Rajasthan, but there will be two, three spells of rain. So that means what is the climate? It is the winter climate. Or that is the climate of that area during December. But the short scale of rain is called weather. So today's weather is not good, so you should not go for field work. So you understand na, the difference between weather and the climate. Climate is a long term system. Long term phenomenon. Climate. The long term phenomenon. Whether the weather is a short term. So that these two systems, you know, do not fall sick. 
so you will be you will be given right type of food in the right time so that you will get to sleep or you will not run here and there you know for getting food so that his digestive system you know is not disturbed suppose you get some bad food sometimes so ambaj is known for rich pickles and mirchi all these things you know suppose you take food outside you will fall sick so if you fall sick you will enter eternal you know enter field work everything is disturbed but follow is banna your mind is disturbed you want to take rest so that means how much digestive system is connected to your daily performance it is not simply you are taking food and living you are taking food but if it is not a good food then it is keeping you ill all your performance is affected follow this point na it is not just for taking something inside and going out and some part is going to so it is the right type of food is necessary for living healthy follow this point na if there is little disturbance the body system is such you know it will make your entire body ill follow this point na a similar you see the oxygen suppose you are living in a room you know where there are 20 people 20 people living in the same room and your all toilets are connected in the same room you know and you are whatever you are breathing that all dirty air even you are breathing you may be surviving but you will find your performance level will go down because you are you are not living in a healthy system so now this combined two things you know, will make all well Now this point, na. Now when you become unhealthy, the amount of the unhealthiness, you know, is not a one-day affair. See, suppose you are suffering from loose muscles because of bad food. You may go to a doctor; he will give you few tablets. Your loose muscles will be stuck. But the effect of that bad food intake, you know, and medicine which is Stop your loose motion, you know. Will make your system so ill for next ten days. Will feel very dizzy. You will not get good energy to do field work. You don't understand, na? That means the system is so stabilized. Our digestive system is so stabilized, you know. If it just disturbing your food intake, it will keep you unhealthy, and the cure is in. Will further make you unhealthy, so that your day-to-day -day -day phenomena will be affected. Similarly, the respiratory system. The respiratory system is like that only. See, many of you might be suffering from asthma after coming back to Bombay. Any of you have problem this breathing problem? I had. Earlier you might not be having, but when you come to Bombay for you know IIT got. So first day you found that while sleeping you are feeling some. Just pain, or you are unable to breathe properly because your climate or the surrounding is full of carbon dioxide. Immediately you may not notice, so gradually you develop this asthma problem. You are unable to breathe properly. But follow this point, na? Now you stay for one month if you do not take precaution. It will so much aggravate it throughout your two years stay. You are always feeling this. So it disturbs the system to such an extent. So that means these two systems are so well established or stabilized in our body. If we little destabilize it, curing it will take a longer period, and it will affect your performance. But understand, na? So that means these two systems are not simple mechanical systems. Not simple mechanical systems. That is why he says, you know, this is a dynamic chemical system. Dynamic. What does it mean, you know? I'll make it further understood. Now suppose there are sometimes you go to doctor complaining, you know, I have some uh, indigestion problems. Sometimes you go to doctor. So doctor will ask you do the blood test. You go for this test, go for ECG. If they are all free in the IIT at hospital, so you did it. Then when you brought the report to the doctor, doctor said you no problem. Your digestive system is absolutely okay. Your blood is absolutely pure. Everything is fine. Then you wait and wonder why I am 
yield. Why I am yield? My digestive system is okay. Breathing I am taking food correctly. I am sleep getting good sleep. But why I have so much acidity problem? But follow this one. Huh? <coughs> These are some of the things which are not noticed by the doctor. Doctor cannot notice it. Because doctor is you know, there for getting some symptom from your analysis and then gives the medicine. But behind him, you know, there are something which is working, which he cannot detect. Nor even if you are not knowledgeable, you cannot also detect. To follow this point, na, see, you took some bad food, so you become ill. That will be reflected in your stool. That will be reflected in your blood. The doctor will give you medicine. Similarly, the congestion in the respiratory path, you are getting some asthma. Doctor will immediately catch from the ECG. He will give some medicine. But there are some problems, you know, which doctors cannot catch, nor even you cannot catch. But you are ill. You follow this point, na? You know, guess what is these things? See, when you are in BAC, you are with your friends. When you come to this place, all friends are lost. Maybe one or two friends are here. The system is totally different now. You got some professor who is so strict in the class, you know, so terrorizing in the class, you know. He fails, he threatens you to fail you if you do not So this type of this type of feelings gradually built up in your mind. You know. So I am so well established in my PhD days, you know, I was a hero there. Here I found so much of competition. Even I am unable to cope with the uh, assignments, you know. Gradually stress built up in your mind and you become ill. The doctor cannot catch it. Neither you cannot catch it. See, gradually. So like that, you know, there are many such things. So I am telling you the stress built up by a, a class, but sometimes stress is built up by the several reasons. You lost a very good friend who was in the piece. He or he was not there. So you lost the company. So you become alone and stressful. So like that there are certain processes you know, which you do not see physically you know, as a part of digestive system or respiratory systems, but it was there in your heart, in your mind you know, and you become sick. So these are the things you know, which made this body system so vulnerable. Like that, you know, the climate system is like that. Climate is so tender, just like your body. You slightly change it, the climate will reflect. For a similar, you see, <coughs> there are some problems, you know, in the body which does not appear at certain age. Up to, say, up to adolescence, you know, you do not have much problems. Because the entire problem is taken care of by a parent. Suppose you develop something. So your parents come, are, 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 let us take him to hospital, let him take him to gym, let him something. You know, the parents are there to take care of. But at the adolescence, you know, your parents are not there. You are alone, all alone on the left, you know. You have to handle all your problems yourself. Right from the education to health to everything. So that is a, you know, that creates a lacuna or creates a gap, you know, in adjusting with the environment. So it creates a problem with you, which, which a doctor cannot detect, nor you can detect, but it develops. So that is why it is a dynamic system. You just cannot pinpoint, this is the reason for my illness. Because of bad food, that is one part. But because you have lost your friend, how will you detect which friend has been lost? You do not know. Similarly, what environment I missed my BAC days so that I become sick here. So those things cannot be quantitatively determined. But it is part of the system. So change of one thing, it affects the That is why it is called a dynamic system. So you cannot just point out this. Has, similarly, though people talk about the global warming, though people talk about uh, the sea level rise, but they cannot just pinpoint. Because of this reason, the global warming is taking place. Just like I told you, why you are getting indigestion? Not because of the bad food. There could be several reasons. The stress build up, environmental change, the place change. That is why it is called a dynamic system. Which part affects you do not. So otherwise you would have really cured the climate change by now. Sometimes you know what happens. There are some uh, students in IIT will find them, you know, in spite of all, they are very good students, definitely they are IIT students, very good students, 
but in spite of all facilities given to them, they somehow cannot perform very well. So they are very intelligent. So many things goes in their mind. You know. They are taking food. They are absolutely normal behavior. But when study comes into the picture, they do not perform well. So what happened to that? Even counselors are there, doctor is there, they are unable to point out. I think those who are dealing with this type of food, they can. That is why this system, just like human body, you know, climate is also a dynamic system. So you cannot point out where does it occur now so that the climate becomes warm or now what is said, you know. You understand what I am telling? In climate system, so what is said? One is the atmosphere, we have the ocean, cryosphere, ocean, you can say hydrosphere, cryosphere, lithosphere. All these are the elements or the agents, you know, agents or the elements, they affect the climate. Just like you know, digestive system, respiratory system, stress filter, all these things affect the human body, you know. The climate also is affected by this atmosphere. <coughs> you understand, no? Now, what he is telling, you know, the atmosphere, ocean, cryosphere, lithosphere, these are very obvious effects, like some kind of atmosphere. Atmosphere is carbon dioxide goes up, so atmosphere becomes warm. It is a very obvious effect. Or similarly, ocean. If ocean has more carbon dioxide dissolved, if more carbon dioxide dissolution takes place, then this affects the salinity. These are very obvious effects. Cryosphere, similarly. What is cryosphere? Ice, huh? ice, snow, a lithosphere, as you know, rock. So these are very obvious things, you know. If there is snow melting, then the sea level will rise. Very obvious things, just like your digestive system and respiratory system. But there are many other things, you know, behind. Behind, you know. Many other things which affects the climate system. Just like as I told you, atmosphere can be monitored based on the carbon dioxide content. The ocean, ocean can be monitored, you know, depending on the acidity, or the salinity. Similarly, cryosphere, <coughs> appearance or not, uh, disappearance of snow sheets or the ice covers can be monitored. But there are many other things you know, which are working behind, which cannot be monitored. Just like as I told you in the biological system. You can monitor a digestive system, you can monitor a respiratory system, but you cannot monitor the stress that is being built up in your mind, which is not very obvious. So there are many things you know, which are going behind these three, four agents, you know, which just cannot be monitored. That is why these climate systems, though we observe the changes, do you observe the changes in the climate system, sir? But the exact effect, exact cause, you know, we just cannot determine. But broadly, we say the atmosphere, the carbon dioxide level has gone up. That is why global warming is taking place. Or the ocean acidity is because of carbon dioxide increase. Broadly, you can say. But what causes this global warming is not purely because of these reasons. You know, understand this point, na? <coughs> that is why we say the climate system cannot be accurately monitored. This part have to understood from not telling you. Huh? Just like human body, how it behaves. Similarly, as the human body, you know, it takes long time to recover. Similarly, climate, once it is disturbed, if it is disturbed the climate, it takes thousands of years 